So about two days ago, I was at American Car Show, and gotta tell you, it was pretty cool. So, um, I decided that I want to share that experience with you guys. Um, so, hi. Welcome back to another video. I know, long time no see. I believe the last video which I made to this channel was about, like, what, two months ago? So it's been a while. It has been quite a while. Um, and don't worry, more farm videos are coming out soon, but I'm today going to be trying out a bit of a different format. I saw this through the format from one of Marco Player's videos, the, specifically the one where he tried to take 100,000 steps. I am a broken man. And yes, I did in fact see this on Bella Porch's TikTok page as well. She did like a day in my life, but did voiceover over it, so I also saw this there. And he did sort of like a day in my life of trying to get 100,000 steps, or a day in his life of trying to get uh, 100,000 steps. And he did it in the sort of format of him commenting over the stuff, so doing like sort of like voiceover um, about what he did during the day. And I really uh, got intrigued by that sort of format, so I decided that I'm going to try that out. So this is going to be a day in my life when I went to American Car Show. Let's begin. How my day started was like any other day. I woke up, put some clothes on, cleaned up this room a bit, um, made my bed, and uh, my desk was also kind of uh, messy, so there was like coffee cups and other stuff on my desk which I had to put to the correct place, so to speak. By the way, side note, um, I'm a very, I'm not gonna say I'm a huge stickler for having everything in the correct place, but I definitely am very um, exact. When, I come, when it comes to cleaning, I want everything to be perfect. I'm a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to cleaning, so I want everything to be the exact right place and like when I make my bed, I can't just leave it, um, I can't just leave it half-assed, like I can't, like if I, if I make my bed, I can't just throw my pillows onto the bed, I have to put them in a nice organized fashion and I need to put my, uh, blanket in a nice organized fashion, but it's just, I don't know, uh, some people would probably just call that normal, um, and some people probably is gonna call that like, why do you care so much? And so yeah, I cleaned up my room and stuff like that. Then I went downstairs, ate some food. Uh, I've ordered some plants. Don't know uh, why. Uh, well, I do know why my mom asked me, but I never ordered a plant, so that was something new. And yeah. Uh, and then after that, um, around um, 11, I headed off to American Car Show. So, we were supposed to meet, uh, it was supposed to be me and my friend, we were gonna go there together, um, uh, and we were supposed to meet at 12, so I headed off around 11, um, to head off to the, to the convention, and once I came there, um, I kind of had a bit of a problem, so I went to the convention, I got to the front doors, um, but I realized that I was at the wrong doors. But I didn't know that I was at the wrong doors, so I called my friend and asked him, Hey, where are you? And he said, Well, I'm at the front doors. And then I asked him, Are you at some different doors? And then, <laughs> the thing is, there were three doors, I believe, or, or two which were used at the time. There was a, uh, I believe there was a east door and a north door. When I asked him to describe what he was seeing, he said that he saw this sort of grill place, um, I believe it's called Black uh, Grill or something like that, I don't know. Uh, I asked him to tell me what the place looked like, but the thing is, both of these places had the same sort of landmarks, so it's very difficult to know that am I at the wrong door or not. Then I saw a poster where it said that I was at the south door or something like that, and then I asked him, are you at the south door, and he said no, I'm at the north door, so I had to walk all around the convention center to the north door where he was standing. I know, doesn't sound like a big journey, but you gotta understand this fucking convention center is fucking massive. So when I'm trying to walk around this, it took a good fucking 
10 minutes to walk around this entire thing. Anyway, but finally I found the north door and then we headed in. Um, so then we went in and said fuck you to the lines because of we had prepaid tickets so we just got to go in and then we didn't need to stand in line for 3 million years so that was really nice. We headed into the convention center and it was fucking packed. Now you gotta understand we were there at the first day and we were there at Friday and it was supposed to go on for Friday, Saturday and Sunday right? Um, so we went there on Friday and it, as I said it was fucking packed. There was people everywhere uh so yeah um probably uh probably like in hindsight we should have probably headed there on um one of the last days like today i believe it's it's saturday today so we no sunday today so maybe it would be a little quieter today to go there well, I want to see at least a few Mustangs here. Like seriously, I want to see. Hell yeah. I want to see. I want to see Wait, my, that has a supercharger. My it? whole goal, right? My whole goal is to see a evolution of challengers. You know. Okay. So, well, let's mark down. What is? Seven. All right. Let me see. 1972. So this one is a pretty early one, ain't it? Uh, no, the 70s old. No, well, I mean that one of the, yeah, one of the older ones. But yeah, look how beautiful it is. Leather interior, like you said, a supercharger. Zero to 100 in zero seconds. <laughs> All right, so here's a Camaro LSE. Very similar to the SS, which we bought. So yeah, if you've been watching the series, you'll know this. But yeah, it looks very similar, but of course this one has more horsepower and things of that nature. And it is in beautiful condition. They made it look very nice. I really like this being matte and this being blank. It looks very nice. I like it a lot. Here we have uh, I believe it's a Cadillac or a Plymouth. That's at least what my friend said. He's a he's a bit better at cars than me. I know my way around the more modern cars, but not really these old ones. But look at this setup that they got over here. Got a RV on the back. Some sort of memorial. Very beautiful. Very nice and creative, in my opinion. No, I can't stop till I'm good and done. Hard. Here we got a classic super sport. I didn't look at the year number here. Let me take it over six. Probably. Yeah, 1969. Chevrolet Camaro SS. So super sport. 518 horsepower V8. Absolutely a gorgeous car. Here we got a Ford Raptor. Very nice. This one's for sale, I believe. Well, not this exact one, but a model just like this one. The Ford people are here selling them. Very nice. Probably a V6. I didn't look at the spec sheet yet, so but I would assume a V6 or a straight six maybe. Beautiful bed and just a beautiful interior as well. You can't really see it, but it's a beautiful interior. Here we got a Dodge Ram. Hell yeah. We actually got a bunch of Dodge Rams if we circle this way. We got one right here. This is my favorite one right here. We've got the old train. Wheels on there. We've got a beautiful gray. Uh, we've got a beautiful gray paint scheme on it. Lifted. All the above. And a beautiful Ram logo and interior is just magnificent. Well, at least that's what I believe. Oh, my hands are sticky up the tires. Beautiful. Anyway, so currently um, we are taking a bit of a break here from walking around the convention and we're actually trying to find some food now. So, yeah. So we walked around for about, what would I say, um, two hours, give or take. We walked around for about two hours, then we decided to get some food. But as I already mentioned, the place was packed with people, which means that the food places were also packed 
with people. So when we walked around the food places, we weren't able to find a single fucking place to sit at. Then at the end, we found a cafe, um, which, uh, sold some sugary, uh, sugary muffins and, uh, cakes and stuff of that nature. So we drank some coffee and ate some sugary things, um, just to get our blood sugar a little higher. Um, it wasn't the best. We definitely would have wanted to eat, uh, something proper, but it sucks to suck, I guess, so whatever. We got another hot rod right here, or this actually maybe, you could almost call this a rat rod, actually. I don't know. Sharp V8, probably. Beautiful car. That would be cool. That would be fun to drive during the summer. Very fun. Check this fuck around. Gold plated, at least, well, it looks like gold, at least. Hot rod. Hell yeah. Nice engine. Looks like it was made yesterday. Here we got some Camaro race cars. Check that out. In the exact Camaro, Camaro or classic Camaro look, Bob, as a race car. Very low on, low to the ground. Wait, is this NASCAR actually? You wanna go racing over there? Nah, I'm okay. Jesus, that's nice. Let's look at the interior here. Yeah, that's nice. Beautiful dials and everything. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, oh god, this one's amazing. Look at the interior. Completely. Completely restored. Completely restored. And I believe this is an 80s body. But then look how what a modern interior. Very nice. Mustang. I again I said this was probably from the 80s, but I need to go double check. Oh, yeah. 60s, Jesus. So this was much older than I was expecting. She saw this at the Rihimaki Monster Truck Show, at least one very close to this one. Oh well, yeah, look at the, look at that. Just beautiful, beautiful monster truck. Big tires, of course. Let me check the engine out. Look at that. Supercharger on top. Beautiful engine. Hell yeah. I really like how this sounds when they slow down. It gives this like, kind of like, I don't know what to call it, but it's a very nice sound. I'll play it right here. Now they open the engine or open the bonnet on the Camaro and check that shit out. We ate right in there. We have a safety bar on top. Also, hold on. Can you hold on to this? Thank you. I also bought a Challenger. Beautiful model car. Very nice. Here we have an original 69 Camaro. Look at that. V8, everything. 6.2 liter, right? Or is it something else? I'm not, I can't see it right there, but a beautiful, beautiful car nonetheless. So here's an original DeSoto. I think that's how you pronounce it. There's a name. Very beautiful. I like the blue, or actually the tur turquoise color on it it's absolutely massive i've realized that a lot of these american cars are absolutely m massive i think i measured one and it was six meters so yeah and it's underneath this wheel so maybe this is like the cra crown jewel of the entire show very beautiful and the interior is nice as well look at that well one of the most interesting cars which i saw was definitely the dodge challenger demon there was an actual dodge challenger demon there which i got very excited about once i saw it i thought originally i thought that it was a hellcat but then i saw the demon on the side and i knew oh shit this is a fucking demon well we found a fucking dodge demon here that's incredible the dodge challengers are my fucking favorite cars like look at that how beautiful beautiful black finish of course we got the demon right there and of course it's a demon v8 in there srt Right there. Beautiful. I mean, can we see the interior here? Sort of. It's a pretty plain. It's a pretty plain interior, but otherwise than that, it is just beautiful. It is. It very much is. I mean, I've seen it all now. Dodge SRT Challenger Demon. Hell yeah. So I walked around the Demon. So yeah, it was a pretty fun day. Gotta tell you, it was quite a lot of fun to walk around there and 
see all those um, American and other cars anyway and motorcycles. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed my time. We had a lot of fun there. And uh, if you went there, I hope you also enjoyed uh, your time there. So yeah, I know this was a bit of a different type of video. Um, usually I don't make these sort of videos. Um, day in my life things. But if you did enjoy it, tell me below. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.